give me a couple of pointers on what do I need to do to open up like a barbershop and what else do I need? In terms of all In grades. terms of like infrastructure or anything or even just, yeah, we already touched upon like the meaning and the vision and all that, like, you know? Yeah. So like, mostly like the infrastructure, how do I put it, if where anyone wants to out there, like, uh, since I'm, I'm going to have listeners that are barbers, mm-hmm. what should they do to when they want to start up a barbershop? Um, you know what, it depends on what you're going for. Yeah. Uh, I know me and you were talking earlier and we talked about how, you know, like the culture of barbershops. Yeah. There is a culture of barbershops that, for example, that hide a lot of cash. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? But it depends on what you want. Do uh-huh. you want all the money? Do you want a large amount of money right now? Yeah. Or do you want to scale the business? There's two sides to it. Let's talk about scale. Right? Scaling. Okay. So yeah. if you want to scale... What you need is when you're starting yeah. is to take care of the business, whether it be trademarking your logo, your name, yeah. uh, your permits, uh, getting familiar with your health and safety codes uh, in your wherever area, area you are, yeah. uh, and getting familiar with those things. Those are the nitty and gritty things that are not going to make you money, mm-hmm. but are going to secure your money. Yeah. So when you get when you get those things in order. Mm-hmm. Having fun is yeah. a lot easier, right? That's something I learned personally. Yeah. Because when I saw the building, I'm like, I'm gonna have so much fun. <laughs> and I started with the fun. Yeah. And it wasn't fun. Yeah. You know, because I got hit with the real stuff. Yeah. But you know, like my, you know, from my learning experience, um, it would be if I were to do this all over again, which I, I'm not gonna start restart this. Uh, then I would start with how to take care of. Every, take care of the business first mm-hmm. and then get creative have fun with it and still the culture like we were talking about like the permit the permit takes like two months to so come it was in. a bitch like, bro you, you, you said you ordered like the furniture yeah I spent like I spent 11, like 11 grand on the chairs um, and then I, I didn't have like money for permits <laughs> so I was like taking more loans out holy like, shit would, is it smart to take out a loan for a small business like a barbershop uh, or is it, yeah is it well it depends it depends like it depends on everyone's situation yeah everyone's money comes from a different like a different place whether True. they actually have money yeah for me I saved up a lot of the money that I had at Pacific Mall when yeah. at the first store yeah if that was even a store um, and that that didn't cover like anything like yeah, yeah. it also yeah. depends on the furniture because for uh, like at this store everything's custom made. Oh shit! Right, the only thing that's um, that you, we got at a salon was that one trolley and the chairs. Huh. Nothing here is from a beauty supply store. So custom made. Yeah, custom made stations are custom made. Custom made. The mirrors too. Custom made. True. Yeah. Logo like everything is custom. The only thing barbershop in here is the chairs. Like we wanted to create something that uh, felt more like a house. Yeah. And then some one thing that you probably notice is that yeah. there's no scent in this barbershop. You don't smell cool here. It doesn't smell like Yeah, barbershop. yeah. Yeah. Now that you mention it, yeah. that makes sense. Same thing with the the moldings. That's the moldings you see in a house, not in a barbershop. Huh. Flooring, not so traditional either. Um, the stations are more look more like furniture actually. Yeah. And then they're they're soft closing, so like you don't hear the sound. Cause that's what I notice about barbershops. Barbers that are like slamming their drawers, that's something I notice. Mm-hmm. I want to eliminate that because that's what people are know. Small you details, tools. I love it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, everything is like like slow closing. Um, we have marble or like quartz. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the mirrors are like eight feet, they're huge. So it's not something traditionally, yeah. but you do see it somewhere, but that's something that we aim for. <coughs> So it's really specific, so we have to pay for that. Yeah, we try to make it a little bit different. Yeah. So that's why like, when people walk in here, it's almost like they really want to stay here longer, mm-hmm. even after the service. But unconsciously, they don't know that they just feel like they're at home. You, you know what it is? That's, that's what it is. Like, you understand the game of being conscious and like subconsciously and, and consciously, mm-hmm. and you kind of work towards that. And that, that's how, like, all these big organizations or like, they do that. They subconsciously put it into your fucking brain. They're like, yo, this is how you're gonna feel, like a Nike or some shit. Like, you know, you feel like more athletic if you put this on, and that's what we do. But you actually make it like a good meaning. You're like, hey, it's like your home. Feel at home. Yeah. That's solid. Definitely. But we have to pay for that. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. The whole barbershop vibe is to build a community. 
is literally to build a community and just go off from that because the only way like what I realized is the only way you get a full fulfillment like I'm looking for fulfillment and like if I make myself the way, best version of myself the money is gonna come after me the clients are gonna like you know like you're attracting it rather than just keeping it towards yourself mm -hmm. so yeah just just build a community and then just run it through like that and that's that's like my main goal and essentially just help out other people because it's cool to have a have a barbershop and build yourself up and I've seen, I've seen so many people just kind of build themselves up they don't put back into the business but my whole goal is is to put back into the guys that I'm working with the people that I'm working with and if they can grow they can take care of the business by themselves and that's like true richness yeah. like like they'll show up on your freaking uh, <coughs> what do you call it on your come to your funeral yeah <laughs> like, but, <laughs> but yeah, like those people really care for you because you've given them so much and they actually love you because you helped them so much and that's that's like true legacy for me. I was an angry angry kid bro, like I was, like got into a lot of fights and most of them were with my siblings and shit. And like yeah, you had a couple of fights outside but most of them were like you were just angry for no reason. But yeah, over time you kind of learn to like, you know, soul search and all that stuff and why you do what you do and you really figure that out within yourself, for yourself, and then you spend a lot of time alone if you want that shit, but yeah, then you kind of figure out what you want to do, and I think you did that too, because at the end of the day, it's you that hold it, holds it down, everything, right, and you, of course you have a team which makes it a lot more easier, but if you don't uh, rely on yourself, it's never going to work. Like, bro, this guy was freaking, you were sleeping in the back when I got here. So, you, like, you know, you need those power naps and shit like that. Yeah. And get back up and do all of this stuff again. Yeah. Here, here we encourage naps. Yeah. Like, I want my guys to nap. Like, if they're tired, go yeah. sleep. Yeah. Or, like, if I see a guy tired, like, yo, do the quick nap. Yeah. No worries. Like, yeah, like, the world's just, not going to end. Yeah, yeah. the world's not going to end. Like, that's, that's something that we wanted here, like, you know, like, a different environment. It's so crazy, a brand can easily be tarnished by yeah. someone that's not even you. Yeah. It could be by someone, a, a client. This is actually something I learned like recently. Like I kind of knew it, but he put it into words. So his example was, I forgot whose barbershop it was. But he said, for example, if I wanted to upscale a barbershop, yeah. and I'm getting kids like yeah. in, in the door, uh -huh. and they're crying, yeah. immediately it's, it's not upscale anymore.